Hello, brothers and sisters. God bless you. <clears throat> um, I prayed the other night that the Lord would use me as a mouthpiece. And <clears throat> even if it wasn't something good, um, I'm a dreamer. I had two rapture dreams. And I've had an, another dream of wearing a wedding dress and being called to a feast and trying to get people ready. And um, they wouldn't listen to me. Uh, this dream last night is an urgent one. It was horrific. It's not like the other dreams I had. Uh, this dream, uh, 2 Peter, chapter 2, verse 5. Uh, it says, God did not spare the ancient world either. He brought the flood on the world of ungodly people. But he protected Noah and seven other people. Noah was his messenger who told people about the kind of life that has God's approval. So the Bible says it will be as in the days of Noah. And the Bible says there will be sudden destruction. Uh, I was somewhere, it was like an outdoor fair. Uh, there were people, they were partying, they were laughing, they were drinking, um, like beer. Uh, they were playing, it, there was a, a creek, they were playing in the water. Um, I was going around and warning people. I had told them that I had seen this before. So the Bible says it will be as in the days of Noah. I told them that uh, the Lord was coming and uh, how horrific it was going to be. And no one would listen. They kept they kept going and kept doing the same things. People were playing hide and go seek. People were just doing things um, as, they, as they wanted to. And uh, there was a little boy in the dream. And in the dream, he was my younger brother. When my brother was young, I used to kind of be like a mom to him. So this just represents uh, there are people who have been praying for family members or, and have, and they really don't want to leave because they're afraid to leave their family members behind. And so um, I kept trying to warn this little boy, which just represents a, a blood family member. And uh, he wouldn't listen. And uh, I told a coach, uh, which represents a teacher, because he was a teacher and a coach. I told him what was coming, and he completely ignored me. And this just represents some of the sh church shepherds we have that will not teach about the rapture. They won't mention the rapture. They're not warning the people. Uh, if you don't believe in the rapture, you won't go. Because we have to believe by faith in, in God's word. So there was going to be a lot of people left behind. And uh, they're not teaching it. And some churches are not teaching it to the people. They're afraid to tell the people because they're afraid they'll get mad at them. They won't like them or they'll leave. But uh, this was a, a warning dream. I mean, it all of a sudden, uh, people started going under the water being swept away and drowning and um, there was a man behind a counter it was kind of like a booth because it was kind of like a fair there was a man behind a counter at a booth and I talked to him and he knew he knew it was coming but he did not want to stop what he was doing which was making the uh, pouring the drinks and stuff because he didn't want to uh, lose his revenue so you can't love God and money. There's people that are going to be left behind because they don't want to leave their homes. They don't want to leave their lifestyle. They want things to continue as they are. Um, they don't understand that when these things happen, things will never be the same. It's not going to be, nothing will continue as it is. Um, there are mockers right now. They, they say that he's delayed his coming. And that uh, things just continue as they are. And so they have just turned their back on him, on the Lord. And they just uh, keep doing their own desires. And so this man knew he was coming and 
He did not care. He just kept making the drinks. And so all of a sudden, it just like, it was there. And uh, I was in the booth with the man because I had been warning him. And uh, the booth started spinning. There was a horrific uh, tornado coming. And I woke up and um, I just wanted to say we are, it is a countdown. It is literally a, a countdown. Uh, we've been given a grace period to um, get right with the Lord. Uh, there's something that the Lord wanted me to tell people. Um, <clears throat> you have to really want to be married to the Lord. Um, sounds really weird, but we are the bride of Christ. There are a lot of people having bride of Christ dreams. Um, it's a relationship. And a lot of people are flirting with the Lord. They don't mind going on like a date and having an uh, encounter or a godly experience with the Lord. But many, many people are like, no, I really can't marry you because I have this lifestyle that I like and I have these things that I want to hold on to. And I have people in my life that I don't want to leave. And they're not going to be ready. The five virgins that had the oil in their lamps were ready. So when the bridegroom shows up, they'll be ready. That means they've decided that they want to be really, really, really want to be married to the bridegroom. That he is a that he comes before houses. He comes before money in the bank. He comes before everything so just saying be ready this it's the final it's literally the final i mean he's at the door it will be it will be it's it's not much time left he is sending out as, as it happens he's sending out uh, stronger warnings there's a lot of people that are experiencing uh left behind dreams and I think that is, it doesn't necessarily mean you'll be left behind. I think it's because he wants to show people what it will be like for people who are left behind. Uh, these people don't seem to get the fact that the world won't continue as it is. There won't be, there will be famine, there will be death, um, there will be terrible diseases, there's going to be earth, severe earthquakes. They, they think in their mind for some reason that everything is going to continue just like it does like a norm like a normal day and it's not going to be like that it's a terrible it's a terrible judgment is coming on on the world and that's all we're supposed to do is the lord used uh, prophets to be a mouthpiece he used jonah to warn nineveh and nineveh took heed they listened but there's a lot of people who are not going to listen and they will be left behind. So please get right with the Lord and look at it this way. Are you just flirting with Jesus? Are you just wanting to be uh, having encounters with him here and there? Or do you actually want to be married to him? If you actually want to be the bride of Christ, you will get right without spot or blemish. You will let go of things. You will realize that your home, your job, your money, your material things, your lifestyle here is not worth anything. That it's all going to be destroyed with the, with the world. So it's almost like just make a choice if you want to be married or not.